Christina Mendez, who's out live. I'm not sure exactly where she's located, but Christina, you've got some updates on what you've been seeing with uh, perhaps some of the damage and uh, the storms and what they brought to the area. Christina. Hey, Derek. Yeah, we're in a neighborhood that's referred to as Old Gaithersburg, and right now what you're looking at is really what's left of a family's home. We were told here on scene by an official that at least one or two trees, one of them you can see here completely uprooted and fell right into the home. We were told earlier this evening that the family was inside watching Netflix when one of these trees right here fell on top of their roof and you can see straight into at least one of their rooms here. Pretty powerful pictures that we're seeing. I can report though, thankfully, all five people that were inside according to this Montgomery County official that they all sustained non-life-threatening injuries. So that is the silver lining to, of course, a very devastating night for not just this family here, but this neighborhood. Lots of people out here very concerned, uh, kind of watching over their neighborhoods. This crew here looks like they're documenting, of course, what happened here. We were told by uh, this official, too, from Montgomery County that they do feel that they were prepared for this to respond to the aftermath, that they feel fully supported in doing so. Going back to the family that lived here, four of the people were able to self-evacuate. One person, we were told, was trapped inside. That person sustained some minor injuries, but again, we were told that they were not life-threatening. So again, a silver lining and a very, very uh, devastating evening here in the old Gaithersburg community. This is just one, though, of at least two homes that sustained some type of damage, we were told. Of course, the other two, not to this degree. And we were also told the folks that were inside at the time are doing all right. So this home here, though, in front of us, we were told a complete loss at this point. So that's uh, that's tough news to swallow, of course, to, to the family that lived in here, but again, they're able to make it out okay. Derek, that is what we are looking at. We are just kind of getting into this neighborhood, learning updates as we go. We talked to several neighbors here tonight who say that they heard kind of the wind picking up and when they finally stepped outside after the rain passed and after that sound passed, they were they were really just in disbelief at what they saw. Vic and Rick. So we can imagine. Christina, thank you very much. And of course, we're gonna be getting back with her when we hit our newscast right at the top of the 11. If, if, we, uh, unless we have to, of course, stay on uh, much longer than that. Christina, telling the story. This family inside simply just watching TV, and all of a sudden, these trees fall down uh, on their home in Gaithersburg. Five people inside, four of them were able to get out. One was trapped for a short period of time, but eventually was rescued with only minor injuries. And about Cumberland County Fire Department doing a phenomenal job down there. Glad that everybody is okay. But scary situation. It goes to show you how quick these systems come in. And it doesn't take long for them to leave their mark. That's a perfect example of that. Most definitely. And 